Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave Adam alayhi salam and Hawa children. And it's narrated in many hadiths that Hawa carried many stomachs and each one of them was a twin, a boy and a girl every time. There was nothing else except for brothers and sisters to get married. The only haram thing that was in Shariat Adam, the boy and the girl from the same pregnancy can't get married to each other. So it's got to be the boy and a girl from a different Pregnancy. The first child to be born was a boy by the name of Qabil. And straight after him in the same stomach was a sister. So they were twins. Qabil's twin sister was beautiful. Whereas Qabil was not very handsome. After him came Habil. And he also had a twin sister. But Habil was a little bit more handsome and his twin sister wasn't as attractive. Adam alayhi salam decreed that Habil would marry the sister of Qabil and Qabil would marry the, the twin sister of Habil. Qabil wasn't satisfied because his sister, the one that came from the same pregnancy, was much better looking than the sister of Habil that came from the same pregnancy as Habil. So Qabil refused to marry off his sister to Habil and he held grudge and hatred against his brother Habil. Also, Qabil's nature was very tough and rough. Habil was more humble and lean. And Iblis is right there. He's thinking to himself, how easy the first test is going to be. Habil tried to advise him. Fear Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, for this is his decree. Now Adam alayhi salam knew about this, so he brought them together and he said to them, why don't you both go and offer an offering? The way they used to sacrifice to please Allah is I get the best of things I have and I put it in a certain place. If Allah accepts it, Allah azza wa will send a thunder or a fire from the heaven that will take that sacrifice. And if Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala doesn't accept it, Allah azza wa will leave it where it is. Habil was a herdsman, a shepherdman. And Qabil was a farmer. So it was the day for the children of Adam to sacrifice. So Habil came with the best of stock that he has. And he sacrificed it for the sake of Allah azza wa jal. And Qabil came with the worst stock that he has. The worst plants, the worst fruits, the worst vegetables, and he put them in the place of sacrifice. The next morning, Habil's sacrifice was accepted and Qabil's sacrifice was rejected. So this increased the hatred and the grudge of Qabil's heart against his own brother Habil. So the shaitan took advantage. He said, what? So now you're going to take my sister? Is this what it's all about? and recite upon them the true story of the two sons of Adam when they offered a sacrifice and it was accepted from one of them and not accepted from the other. The latter said, I will kill you to his brother. Qabil wanted to kill his brother. What did his brother Habil say? Oh brother, if you stretch out your hand against me to kill me, I shall not stretch out my hand to kill you. For I fear Allah, the Lord of the worlds. Instead, I would prefer that you bear the burden of my sin and your sin together. And so become an inhabitant of the fire. That is the recompense of the transgressors. Brother, if this is what you want to do, I'm not going to do the same thing. His soul then prompted him to kill his brother. And he killed him and became one of the losers. And Habil was the first human being to be ever killed on the surface of this earth. And the Prophet Muhammad wasallam said, From that day to the day of judgment, every innocent life that's being killed, Habil gets a portion of the sayyat. Why? 
because he is the first one to start this killing and murder. And Qabil feel guilty. I killed my own brother. I got deceived, brainwashed by the shaitan and killed my own brother. And he looks at his brother, his brother is dead, bleeding. So what does he do? Leave him like that? So Qabil put Habil on his back and went. He doesn't know what to do. Never heard of someone being killed. Never heard of someone being dead. I don't know what to do with the dead body. At that moment, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, in front of Qabil, two crows will come. One crow will kill the other one. And then after that crow will kill the other one, will dig up a hole and bury that crow and cover him with the dust. So Qabil saw that. He knew that's the way to do with his brother. So he dug up a hole and he buried his brother Habil in that hole. But he did not repent. He regretted, but he did not repent. The story then after that is very interesting. What happened? Qabil did not go back to his father. And, and the news came to, to Hawa first. Then she started to cry. Adam السلام, approached Hawa and he asked her what's wrong. And she wouldn't answer. She kept on crying. He asked her a second time. She wouldn't answer. She kept on crying. So Adam السلام, kept silent in relation to the news. But he said to Hawa, this will be the inherited attribute of our daughters. Qabil ran away. Allah SWT gave Adam السلام, another son instead of Habil named Chief. And Shaith was a righteous servant of Allah Azza wa Jal. The Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, he said that Allah Azza wa Jal had revealed a hundred Sahifa. Fifty of that Sahifa were given to Shaith Alayhi Salam. And Shaith started to order with justice and fairness in the mountains and spreading the good and the righteousness among the people that are living around the mountain. On the other hand, Qabil and his descendants were just spreading corruption and evilness. And they even were killing one another and haram spreading among each other. So you had the people living in the mountain, the people of the good and the people of evilness living on the flat surface of the land. And life started to increase. One of the orders of Shaykh among his people, he forbade them to mix with the people of Qabil. And Qabil's descendants, their men were not as good looking as their women. And Shaykh and his people, their women were not as good looking as their men. And from that door, Shaytan played a big role to make the fitna in between. Which one day Shaitan disguised himself in a young man and he started to work with one of the descendants of Qabil. And he designed a flute and he introduced it to everyone. And so the flute was made and it sounded nice. And there was a day of celebration that they celebrated during the year. It was a good celebration, but there was never this indecent mixing. It says that when he brought the flute to them, they started to move their bodies to the flute. So they began to dance and get together on this flute. It says that the people of the mountain began to hear this flute. And these men, they saw the women of the land. And they mixed with the women of the land. The following year they called their counterparts from the mountain and they began to slowly mix on the day of celebration which the musical instrument was being played to help this. And so it says that adultery and fornication began. At this point, Sheath was commanding and prohibiting, advising. And Adam alayhi salam, his time had come. Sheath lived on. And from his progeny, from his children, came most of the prophets. And some say all of the prophets ended up in his lineage. No one came for after that from Qabil. 
and then at his deathbed after him, he entrusted it to his most noble son. His name was Enos, who carried out his mission after him. Then after him, his son Kenan, and then his son Muhallalal. Muhallalal is the one whom Persians, they claim to be the king of the seven regions. This is another biblical notion. It says that he was the first to cut trees, build cities and big castles. It says that he built the city of Babylon. He defeated Iblis, they say, and his army and then scattered them into mountains and valleys and killed a huge number of them as though there was a war between him and the jinns. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala knows best about this. And they say he had a splendid crown and his rule lasted for about 40 years after his last father. After him came Jared, who took charge of his mission. And here the Quran, the next man or the son that came after him, the Quran mentions him. His name is Idris alayhi salam.